Hello and welcome to the finale of the 2015 NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Of course, it's 2015, but that is beside the point here. Rusty Wallace, of course, if you remember last week's post-race points recap, has clinched the championship for this year. So all we can hope for now is a tremendous race right down to the end of it. Let's get down to the starting lineup. Dale Earnhardt and... Bill Elliott will start on the front row. Row two will be Dale Jarrett and Dale Earnhardt Jr. So the Dales are all in the top five for the start of today's race. Last week's winner Ryan Newman and Bobby Labonte will make up row three. Row four is Ricky Rudd and Tony Stewart. Row five, Michael Waltrip and Casey Atwood. Row six is Steve Park and Jeremy Mayfield. Row seven, Rusty Wallace and Mark Martin. Row eight, Robert Presley and Jeff Gordon, and row nine is Kevin Harvick. We'll be back for the start of the YouTube 500. Welcome back, and uh, we made a bit of a production uh, decision during that break, and we have decided that we are going to stay with this race through its entirety, and this is going to probably end up being a two-part race. It's going to be ten laps at Daytona so if we can manage to get all 10 laps in in 10 minutes then we will do so if not then we will either make this a two-part race or if the second part of the race is too short but falls within the 15 minute limit we will splice them together of course and make this one long video uh, but we hope you'll stay with us and we hope you enjoy today's broadcast of the season finale at Daytona. Well, a uh, little fact here is, of course, Rusty Wallace has clinched the championship, but as you know, Earnhardt won the Daytona 500 to begin the season, so we'll see if he can win from the pole to win the season finale at the same track that he won at the beginning of the year and of course last week if you'll remember he and Ward Burton got into that scuffle in turn two at Richmond and sent Burton into the wall Burton failed to make this race in fact both Burton brothers failed to make this race but interestingly for Earnhardt all three of his cars are in this race all three DEI cars are in and now we come to it green flag is out at Daytona for 10 laps to finish off this season and Dale Jarrett immediately hangs Earnhardt out to dry going into turn one but of course they're not up to speed yet and for drafting to be truly effective you have to be up to speed on this track and Earnhardt drops back down to hold the lead And coming out of turn one, and Jarrett pulls up behind Earnhardt and holds his line. Going into turn three now as uh, the field starts to get a little bit strung out. Still two by two. A few rows back behind them as now they come around and Earnhardt's going to lead the first lap. From the last lap of the Daytona 500 to the first lap of this one. And Dale Earnhardt leads a big group of Fords. There's three Fords including both Yates cars. And there's Ryan Newman. That rookie has been in the top of every race he's been in all year. He's only finished outside of the top ten twice. And here comes Ricky Rudd being pushed by Bill Elliott as we continue to watch Earnhardt lead the race. And that's two laps in the books at 188 miles an hour as they head into turn one. Field now in a straight line all the way back through fifth place. And there's all three DEI cars together. Waltrip, Jr., and Park all in one place. Jr. now trying to pass his teammate and get up there with his dad. 
Parka has fallen a little bit behind. A little bit of separation there in the field, but Park has closed the gap with the help of Tony Stewart as Newman falls back, and so does Rudd now, and Waltrip is left in the dust by his two DEI teammates as Park and Earnhardt Jr. latch on to the back of Bill Elliott's car as this whole field gets pulled around this two-and-a-half-mile track by Dale Earnhardt himself. And if you remember Earnhardt in the only other restrictor plate race this year besides the Daytona 500 at Talladega led every lap and won that race. One of four races he's won and father-son are one and two and here comes Park to complete the trio. All they need now is Waltrip and everybody will be up there. One, two, three boss and two of his employees and Waltrip is trying desperately to get up there with his boss and his teammates but Tony Stewart and Casey Atwood are in his way straight line all the way back through sixth or seventh place very little deviation there's Rudd in uh, eighth spot there's the other Joe Gibbs car, Bobby Labonte, and it looked like Stewart was trying to make a move, and he does, forcing Park out of line, and there's one DEI car that goes down. As now Park is uh, overtaken by his teammate, Waltrip. Tony Stewart in third place as he chases down the two Chevrolets and the two Earnhardts. Father and son, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And uh, he hates being called senior, but <laughs> there's, you know, you just have to find a way to differentiate between the two on air. And we found a way. We call one Big E and the other one Little E. And Big E is now currently leading Little E and the rest of the field. As Casey Atwood, another one of the strong rookie contenders this year, pulls in the third in his dodge, leaving Stewart's Pontiac out to dry up top as Earnhardt leads another lap. Will Earnhardt Sr., or excuse me, Big E, lead every lap here like he did at Talladega? We'll, we'll find out. And this race is yet to have a lead change, unlike the Daytona 500, which had several. Seven laps. We're not working the seventh lap. Six laps complete. And Junior, no! Junior got forced up high and out of the draft, and now Earnhardt is all alone up there. Senior has been isolated now, and now all they need to do is get around that three, but can they work together enough to do it? Atwood and Stewart, the 19 and the 20. Chase down that black number three. And it looks like at least a few cars have been forced out of the draft, including Jeff Gordon. Forced out of the lead draft entirely. There's Harvick, there's Gordon. And back to the leader, Earnhardt, who continues to lead this race with now nine laps complete. Excuse me, seven laps complete. I can't count. I'm sorry, people. And as they come across the line to complete the eighth lap with two to go, we will be back to present to you the final lap at Daytona. Welcome back after a short break. Uh, the cars are now coming out of turn Number two with two laps to go. No one has gotten up alongside Earnhardt yet. Will it be one of the Dales? Will it be Dale Jarrett? I don't think he's going to have enough time. White flag coming out this time by. But anything we know can happen in two and a half miles 
as Earnhardt takes him down into turn one with the lead still as Dale Jarrett tries to close the gap he pulls that UPS Ford right up to the back bumper of Earnhardt's car is he gonna make a move not on the back stretch now he makes a move Dale Jarrett to make a move for the lead Going into turn one, Earnhardt has led the entire race up until now, and on a last lap pass, Dale Jarrett takes the lead. No one's going to be able to catch him, and Dale Jarrett is going to win the season finale at Daytona, the YouTube 500. And Earnhardt got shot back to third because Stewart came around and pushed Dale Jarrett and helped him with the win there. What a finish. Earnhardt. Gets past going into turn three on the last lap. And that's going to do it for our season, folks. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the ride. And from all of us here at Mr. Sir 1995 Productions, of course, we'll say our final goodbyes in the post-race points summary. But uh, we hope you enjoyed today's race, and we will see you next year at Daytona.